to get somebody on my radar. I kind of make my phone calls, to, you know, whether it's East West coast and my West coast contacts that after the Corey Reeves fight, you got into a pretty big bar fight where you beat somebody up and you want to tell us how you got out of it. Okay. So yeah, that, that's actually, <laughs> that was a uh, IFC in uh, Lake Tahoe. That, yes. that is an epic story. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so it's true. Uh, it's a hundred percent true. Yeah. Uh, so, go ahead. So Mitch your sins. Oh God. Yeah. I mean, it's fine now. I, uh, so, so, um, I was always, I would always come out with a mask. That was kind of my, my little shtick, um, going to the cage. And so I met like these, a Lucha Libre mask, these two beautiful, uh, girls that worked at the casino and they wanted to go to the after party with me. And so we're all going in there and I'm wearing my mask and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just enjoying the moment. And, uh, one of the security guard goes, Hey, take the mask off. So I take the mask off. I give it to one of the girls and, and uh, the guy behind him goes, don't let him in. And I'm like, what do you mean, man? He asked me to take the mask off. I took the mask off. What's the problem? He's like, you fighters think you can do whatever the hell you want. I'm not letting you in. And I'm like, well, this after party is for us. Like, this is not for, like, they're doing it expressly for us. It's not for you. Like, get a manager. And the guy goes, well, I am the manager. And I go, no, you're not. You're just a, a you know, a punk bitch security guard. And he goes, look, you have two options. You can leave on your own or I'll kick your ass and throw you out. And, you know, I'm, I'm young and, and I just fought and, and I'm like, oh, you're going to kick my ass? And he goes, yeah, and he pushes me. And so I cracked him in the face. Two other securities grab me. They pull me down. Um, actually, one guy's trying to wrangle my legs and I slip him into a triangle. And I'm choking him with my legs as the other guys are holding me down. And, and uh, Mike Pop, who was my manager at the time, is like, Gabe, Dude, you, this is the first uh, uh, outside of uh, Las Vegas fight. You can't be doing, you know, you need to stop now. And so I stopped and they handcuffed me and they, they took me to the security room. And they're like, you're going to go to jail, this and that. And I'm sitting there and uh, I'm handcuffed in a chair like this. And I'm like, I don't feel good. And the guy's like, fuck you, you're going to jail. I'm like, I don't feel good, man. I'm going to pass out. And he's like, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. And I just did a header off the chair. Boom. <laughs> Fell on the ground and I started convulsing. And he calls EMS, EMS comes, and they put me on the gurney and they, they wheel me out of the casino and all the fighters are like, what the hell's going on? I think I wink, wink. I, I'm also really, really drunk. So take that into consideration. I think I winked at a couple of the fighters like, ha, ha, ha. They take me to the hospital. Um, <laughs> the doctor checks me out. He's like, are you okay? I'm like, well, you know, you need, an EK, you need to do a CT or anything. I'm like, well, I just passed out. I feel okay now. And he's like, they were saying you had a seizure. I'm like, I don't think you had a seizure. I, I just blanked, I, bl I, you know, I blacked out for a minute. And he's like, okay, you know, uh, let me call you a cab. This is pre-Uber, this is, and so he calls me a cab. I get into the cab as the sheriffs come to the hospital. I go back to the casino. I meet the two girls. I go party the whole night. Like everything's great. I'm at, the, I, at a different, at, the, at a club, like partying the whole night, everything's great. I go home and then um, I uh, was served two weeks later that uh, um, little bit, I mean, it made sense that they had, I, we were staying at the casino, they knew who I was. So yeah. uh, they, uh, they pressed charges on me after the fact.